How to manifest money? This is really the million dollar question. Let me put this away. I should concentrate on the video. And I know there are a lot of videos out there. And there are still enough people out there that say, I need the solution. So how can this be? So many videos are out there. And on the other hand, so many people that say, I need the solution. Therefore, welcome to this video workshop. We dive a little deeper. I could say, sell your house, sell your car, then you have money. Video is over. You manifested your money. But this is not what people want to hear. Because people don't want to sell and make their stuff to money. People want to keep their stuff and get more money to get more stuff. And this is where I would say it's about our mindset. It's about our expectation. On the one hand, the answer can be really easy. But on the other hand, it's not. Because there are so many people typing how to manifest money. And this means with all this information out there, they still haven't the mindset that brings them to their desire. So therefore, I make another attempt. Probably this video can bring you the mindset that you say, now I understand about abundance and my connection to abundance. And in this video workshop, we go another way. I want that at the end of the video, you understood that you are part of the abundance. There's no frontier. This is, there's the abundance and here I am lost being a part. It's not. And as I said at the beginning, if it would be that easy, then everybody would be a billionaire. Although we all have two hands, two feet, a head, we are nearly all the same. But the problem might be our mindset. And therefore, there's not a simple answer. It's a learning process. So are you ready? Do you sit comfortable? Have your cup of coffee? Let's start. As we are mostly made out of water, 70% or more or less, doesn't matter. And water is life. Imagine how many water exists on this planet. All the oceans, the rain, the lakes, the rivers, the groundwater. There's a lot of water out there. But there's also a lot of water in us. And nobody would say there's not enough water. There's so much water. And we are part of it. In our body, in our life, water is coming, water is going, water is coming, water is going. This is a normal cycle. And we are a part of this big water reservoir. And the same goes with money. There's so much money out there. And we all have money. Money comes and money goes. Money comes and money goes. And normally money doesn't come in super big amounts. It comes in smaller amounts. And when we save more, we have more. But when we spend it, when it comes and spend it again, then we don't build up our own pile. And building up our own pile is also something that has to do with a habit. The bigger the pile gets, the more money comes. Because money wants to be where money is. When you have a good pile, more money comes. This is one principle. And there are so many other principles. Are we really willing to receive money? Some people, they avoid possibilities where they can get money. This means they are not willing to receive. And we have to be clear about this. There's a lot of money out there. But the money doesn't grow in the mountains. All the money is held by people. People have the money. It's not in the desert or growing on trees. No, people have the money. And as money is energy, we can do a lot of things with energy. People don't give their money away just for nothing. They are willing to give the money in return for something that they won't use. So the best chance to get a lot of money, to give a lot of use to people that they want to have, and then they are willing to buy, to buy. This is the exchange, skill or good for money. And the question is, 
What are we willing to offer? Do we want the money just for free? It doesn't work like this. But when you offer good education, entertainment, some stuff, a good service that people need, they are willing to pay. And we can collect a lot of money. And as we are collecting, we can build up our pile. And the better our ideas are, here comes the mindset, the better our ideas are, the better things we have to offer. People like trendy things because everybody has them and everybody wants to have them. And thinking on all this, do you realize that you are really invited to be in the big money flow? It's not far away. No, you can intermingle. You can be a part of it. And the more you dive in, the more money comes in your life. How to manifest money? Manifesting money is something that we do, which is our part that we bring into the equation. And the part we bring in the equation, the equivalent amount of money comes back. And we all are so interested. We have all so many skills. We can make our own marketing project and sell our skills. It is so much more in our hands than we think. How to manifest money. This is something that we do. We can work on it. This is our physical part. But there is also our subconscious part. Sometimes money comes by coincidence. We didn't plan this. But something happened and money is coming easy. But this only happens when we are already going for the money. The more we go for the money, the more coincidences we trigger that come nearly automatically. Because money is attracting money. So therefore I would say just sitting there and making a prayer, money comes, money comes, money comes, and doing nothing is not the right way. We have to go for it. And when we go for it, then all these coincidences come also. This is what people are, the universe gives me money. I didn't work for this, but it comes automatically. It only comes because you are already working on so many other projects. This is just a heavenly benefit. <laughs> In summary, to say how to manifest money, do what you can, what you really can. Give your effort in the equation and you get some money in return. And the more you do it, the more you get new possibilities, coincidences. They fall all together. This is the way how you can influence the way money comes in your life. And not just making some woo-woo stuff and hoping next day you will become a billionaire. Don't disappoint yourself with ideas like that. It's much better to work on the tangible side. Make whatever you can bring on the table and the rest will come to you. And it is a process for sure. And it needs the right mindset. Therefore, there are so many people that are not ready for this. But now you know the equation. Now you can do your magic. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this brought you some new ideas. And stay on this. Go in this direction. Our inner desire will bring us to our goal. We just shouldn't give up. Thank you very much for watching. This is a good video here. And this also. And by the way, I have money affirmations. This is another way to trigger your subconscious mind. All parts of you should help.